Hi, uh, my name is Clint Hoagland and this is uh, Simplify Your Live. Today I'm going to talk about live templates and different kinds of live templates you could use while making your music. First I want to go into creating a classic DAW template. Uh, this is something that is always uh, recommended by people when you're telling you to get into Logic or Cubase. First thing you do is you want to get in and say, I want to cr create it so that when I start up my workstation, blam, I've got everything that I could want right in front of me. That way I don't have to waste any time creating that stuff. Okay, that's a valuable thing, I guess. So let's talk about how you would want to do that inside Ableton Live. Right here, here I am inside Ableton Live. This is, of course, the session view. Hit tab, you get the arrangement view. Nothing there. I've got one audio track and one MIDI track. Um, this is pretty close to the bare bones template that you would get coming out of the box in Live. So, say for example, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to use in every single tr uh, session, every track that I'm going to make. So what I want is I want to be able to create it so that that happens automatically when I start up. So first thing I would want to do, let's say for example, I always like to use reverb. Um, I've got my uh, return tracks showing right here. Um, so this is my first return. See so it says drop audio effects here. I'm going to find my audio effects over here on the right. Let's say I always want to use reverb. So I'm going to drop him on there. Maybe I have a favorite preset. And um, let's say medium concert is my favorite preset. Okay, so he's there. And then I always want to use ping pong delay as another send. Okay. Drop him on there too. Let's say that the default setting is my favorite setting for that. So I'm going to leave that right just as it is. Okay, great. Um, next thing, um, what else do you always have on a template? Master effects, something that's going to uh, always be on the master channel. Uh, so I dropped multi dynamics on here and then a limiter on here just so to make sure there's no clipping on the master track. And let's say that I have a favorite preset on multiband dynamics. I happen to actually kind of really like the one that says multiband compression. It sounds pretty good. Um, maybe add an EQ weight back here. Everybody always wants to drop off the low end right below like 30 hertz or something. So uh, we'll do that right here. Add another little dip around 200 hertz. That's always a good thing to have. Okay, simplifying this even more, a um, uh, neat little trick is that um, you can group things together inside Live. Uh, so I've got these three plugins on here. So one, another thing I'm going to do to simplify this dot, uh, DAW template is I'm going to uh, click this guy, shift click, shift click. Uh, when you shift click, that of course lets you uh, select multiple objects. Now I'm going to right click uh, to get my context menu. If you're a Mac user, there's, I'm sure there's some sort of key that you're supposed to press. I don't know. You guys are crazy. Um, so I'm going to right click and uh, hit group. What that's done is that's created a group effect that's got all the effects built into one. It's really an effects rack is what's technically done here. I'm going to rename this guy. There we go. Okay, and then uh, all these guys are all part of the of one effects rack right now. Okay, so that, the reason why that's handy is okay. Maybe you want to turn off your master effects all at once. You can go, so you can just say, okay, I want to get rid of that guy. Um, I have another reason why I want to show have this in here, but I'll uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Okay, so I've got my master effects on my master channel. I've got my two sends here. Uh, now let's talk about grouping stuff. So let, I'm going to uh, assume that you don't have a bunch of uh, like the entire Ableton Live suite. So I'm just going to use uh, simplers and impulses for this guy. But uh, let's say, for example, you always use bass in your uh, inside your uh, session. So let's say I'm going to add a string bass every single time. Ping, P bass finger. And also, for example, maybe you're always going to use a grand piano in yours, um, or, uh, or a piano. And for drums, you're always going to, say for example, you're always going to use the uh, Artifact Delirium one, because you love that one. And then maybe you always also are going to use the Glitch one, because you're into that um, IDM stuff. Okay, so now we're already starting to see things are getting a little, like 
a little undifferentiated. So how can we start to simplify this already? Because like as we, we know that we're if we're going to start adding more and more of these tracks, it's going to start to get a little confusing to look at. So what you can do is you can also group tracks. So if I uh, shift click this guy and then group group tracks, and I'll call this group. Okay, so bass and piano is here. Now I can collapse this guy. So now he's gone, and that now um, I want to group these tracks too. We'll call these guys IDM drums. Okay, so now the uh, I've already simplified this guy a little bit. What's even nicer though is if I let's say for example, okay, I want to add even more of these things. Like let's say for uh, quirky beat, that's something I really like. I'm going to uh, drop this right in here. Oh, yeah, replace that. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, I'm going to drop him out here, and then I'm going to bring him in like so. Drag it on top of the group. That's what it is. Okay, now I brought it in. Again, I can collapse it. Now I've got three of these drums in here, and it, it still can collapse it. Uh, if you Also, if you go in here, uh, this is the uh, arrangement view. You can also do it in here. Um, so the the visual clutter aspect is one thing that's nice about the groups. Another thing that's nice about the groups is that um, you can apply effects of the entire group. So um, let's let's create a, uh, a beat out of all three of these guys. So I'm going to do. I have no idea what these things sound like. So this should be interesting. I'm going to go blam, blam, blam. Okay, we got our four four beat here. Um, let's do a hi-hat on the upbeats. All right, now we're making some excellent music. Okay, anyway, so... Um, so say, for example, I wanted to uh, apply the same effects to all the guys in the group. Uh, what we can do then is, first of all, we can, let's say, we're, say, for example, we wanted to add a compressor to the entire group. Then just drop it right on here. And see, I already starting to sound a little, a little more present for everybody together, to kind of group together. So, that, so that's really handy, and, I, and it didn't really take much work to put them all through the same track. Okay, so um, now uh, let's say, for example, that I really like this template and I want to save it. So where you save that guy is up under Options and Preferences. And that's going to be under t -t 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 File Folder. Save Current Set as Default. Very first thing under the File Folder menu. If you hit Save, it's going to say Overwrite the Template Set. And if you hit OK, then next time you open up live, this is going to be what you see. It's going to it's going to override the default template set, and there you go.